Hello friends, this is Raj Sastri from Raj Option Trading. Today is October 1st, 2022. Hope you're all doing well. In today's segment, we'll take a look at stocks with very high short ratio. As many of you know, when the short ratio is high, we can have a nice short squeeze and stocks can go higher. So we got to be careful, especially in this bear market. Don't put all your money, put maybe 10% of your portfolio and uh, watch it very carefully. So with that look from a market update perspective, we are in the extreme fear zone right now. Look, we are at... Uh, 15 right now it's extreme fear zone i can see us coming down to say 9 or 10 look just a year ago the extreme fear we had a 9 so we are slightly above right now so we don't stay in extreme fear zone for long i can see us going into say 25 30 zone maybe in a month or two this is a fed induced bear market as fed starts making some positive comments market will go higher as you look through here look we got uh, uh, the uh, the uh, range here this is the extreme fear zone look we are at the one of the extreme fear right now look we are right here just in back in june we were right here so we're even below the june level right now that's, that's why we got to be careful here market is really in a bearish mode induced by fed so now what we'll do is we'll go into one of my favorite uh, platform which is finviz i have a finviz elite subscription here so it's a, a good platform it does not cost too much it's about if you go for a yearly plan it's about uh, 300 dollars per year it's uh, well worth uh, the money mainly because it provides certain data around the short interest insider selling institutional selling and you can download this data uh, free of cost once you have elite subscription and as you go into this platform um, you can go into um, you, you can go into the futures here that's where i start typically as you go into the futures you got a nice map here if this is an eye chart you can go into indices here this is where i typically start look from an indices perspective now you got a yearly chart look what's going on here you don't need to be a scientist to know the direction here look right from 2022 here the direction is down look nice down downtrend here all the way look nice downtrend here in dow jones industrial average and look we got s p 500 same story here nice uh, downtrend as you can see here and same story in other indices also nice downtrend right from uh, you know this year it's all downtrend and look russell 2000 again downward direction here and even uh, nikkei and so on so forth mainly what's going on here is look vix is having a party here all the volatility is going through the roof as you can see here but normally the the stock market itself is uh, on a downward trend as you go into the energy here energy is also not doing great off rate look we got crude oil right here crude oil as you can see here crude oil is also not doing great it's uh in the downward trend as you can see here and uh, gasoline same story here natural gas is also kind of consolidating as you can see here and then you go into other areas like uh bonds and so on so forth bonds as you can see here it's uh, getting obliterated here bond 30 year bonds are coming down 10 year notes same story here um, all this uh, bond market is not doing great right now and as you go into the uh, currencies here this is uh, you can see some strength here especially in the us dollars look from a us dollar perspective look at the strength here us dollar has been doing well all year but now there is a, a slight um, uh, drop here mainly because uh, bank of england uh, they are uh, doing some bond buyback that's why it's uh, dropped two days but it's uh, trying to go higher now as you can see here so that's why it's not a pretty picture right now it's a fed induced market and as you go into the other areas like metals same story here metals are also not doing great 
uh, look palladium is trying to go slightly higher as you can see here it looks like it's having slightly better um, direction, direction perspective but otherwise generally look at gold here gold is also getting obliterated it's uh, really coming down here silver is not doing great either so it's uh, really not a great market for metals also with the exception of probably palladium which just seems to be holding off slightly but that's a nice down candle here all right now what we'll do is we'll go into finviz here you know i like the way they put here put the uh, home home page here look from a home page perspective you see here one day chart of dow jones industrial average look it's down nicely 500 points and look it's a one day chart it they give you hourly what's going on here look at the last candle here last candle is decisively bearish as you can see here nasdaq same story nice downtrend here look at the last candle that tells you monday we might have a down day especially when you see a huge big candle toward the end that tells you this can linger uh, into uh, monday all right so it also gives a nice picture here you can see here i got here top gainers top losers and so on so forth here nice one page here and they also have a nice uh, page here that tells you how is the market doing right now we got a one day performance here you can go into say one week three month year to date and so on so forth typically i start with the year to date you don't you don't need to be rocket scientists look all the technology down here and some of these um, um, medical um, healthcare stocks are doing well. I love Eli Lilly. They are doing great. Bristol Myers is also doing pretty okay here. And we've got Energy Cohort here, Exxon Mobil, Chevron, so on and so forth. They're all doing okay for the year. All right. Now what we'll do is we'll go into the screener here. And um, I will show you typically when I, when I want to look at the short squeeze, I typically go into my short interest, uh, you know, preset here. You can uh, look at this short interest. I will show you what's going on here. In the short interest uh, preset here, you know, if you're a Finviz Elite member, look, uh, I have a Finviz Elite. You can go in and see what you want to see in your custom screener. I have highlighted a few areas like ticker and we got here price to sales ratio and look we got shares float here which is a very important if you are doing a short squeeze type game here and i also look at the insider transactions so insider transactions and institutional transactions is very unique to um, finviz i have looked at multiple platform including trade ideas they don't have insider transactions even uh, trading view they don't have insider transactions very unique to uh, you know to finviz platform and also the shares float or float rate of um, short short float is also very unique uh, to uh, finviz platform that's one of the reason i have this uh, you know um, finviz elite mainly because their ability to get some of these insider transactions institutional trans transactions and short ratio seems to be very unique to, to this platform and you don't see that in many platforms that's one of the one of the reason i have the subscription to this platform to really understand the dynamics of the market all right so once you select what you want to see here you could really you know um, get out of this uh, settings here and you can just look at the filters look it's got several filters as you can see here you got a lot of filters i love the way they put the filters on top here and if you don't want to see those filters you could, you could just uh, click on filters it will go away from a filters perspective for my short float uh, uh, short interest here look i don't have too many filters i want to keep it simple i got the current ratio over one uh, current volume more than 1 million shares traded and that uh, looks, looks like that's the only um, you know filter i have here and i could also put maybe one more filter i can say here i can say here uh, go into the float here and say short float more than 10 percent so that way i can limit the number of uh, you know number of stocks i can say over 10 percent now i limit my um, uh, list here 
do a little bit smaller list here all right now i could uh, you know just click on the filter here take the filter away here look i got a nice list here uh, through this platform look on top of the list here we got adtx um, adtx as you can see here look at the short ratio i got here short float right here this is short float look at the short float for adtx 130.10 that's a huge short ratio here and look their float itself is very low here uh, 1.11 million here very low float market cap is also very low 1.34 million and performance perspective they did not do well look uh, one month negative uh, quarterly negative and so on so forth but just last week look looks like the stock has jumped up nicely and we got the price and even after the market here we got after our change here this last column is after our change looks like after our change is uh, positive looks like stock wants to go higher and we also have a few more things going on here we got rsi rsi below 40 that tells you it's uh, not oversold not overbought at this time here it's oversold so that, that also indicates probably you can look at this stock here and look from an insider and institutional transaction you don't see anything here you can dig dig into a little more detail and these two columns here are very unique to um, finviz platform you will not find it in many platforms and also short ratio this also you don't find it in many many platforms all right so with this uh, you could look at few other stocks here uh, take keep a watch on insider transactions and institutional transactions look we got uh, bbby um bed bath and beyond look what's going on here look uh, insiders are selling look my negative 55 percent institutions are selling not a great news here and uh, and as you can see here looks like uh, stock is done big time here look uh, performance uh, one week uh, one month and so on so forth in negative and even on friday look stock is down one percent not a pretty picture here after market stock slightly went higher and we got a few more here look we got um, beyond meat beyond meat also look it's uh, not a pretty picture here in beyond meat it also came down look after the mark of you know uh, on friday it's down and it's down along on a weekly and so on so forth and we got after our slight positive change here and we've got a few more as you can see here as usual keep a watch on insider and institutional transactions when you see insiders are buying heavily that could be a good idea look we got asana asana ceo dustin he has been buying buying the stock but mainly look we got uh, stock stock is not doing very well mainly keep keep a watch on the profit margin here profit margin is negative at this time in the market uh, stock market does not have patience for the negative profit margin companies but either way look stock is having a nice uh, squeeze here it's going higher keep a watch on performance week performance month especially performance week as you see something positive going on in performance week and if the rsi is uh, say below 50 that tells you the stock can uh, even go higher and keep keep a watch inside the institution here we got asana that we talked about with the positive bias here and you could also look at big look big institutions are buying nicely beyond meat looks like institutions are buying 15 percent they're really positioning themselves for a longer run here and accumulating look we got vtnr nice institutional transaction here 52 percent but uh, it looks stock is also going higher in a weekly performance which is a good story here as you scan through more here look we got uh, nicola nicola is a ev stock as many of you know insiders are buying nicola which is a good story here and look we got institutions also buying nicola that tells you this can go higher but stock is not reacting yet uh, i think it's an accumulation mode folks are buying and keeping uh, them positioned for stock to go higher and squeeze those short sellers look nice 30 percent short ratio and we got a few more as you can see here we got fisker fisker also look uh, 
nothing much going on from an inside institutional perspective nice short ratio but uh, look after the market afterwards it went higher slightly so this goes on and on what i love about this platform the moment you have like elite subscription you could download this entire list into your uh, your desktop and do some analysis you know that's what i typically do all right so you know you could we could go into more stock here but what i will do is i will uh, i have already downloaded this, this data here into my excel spreadsheet i will take you there and we could uh, look at few things and then go into few charts all right now let's jump into excel spreadsheet here look i've already downloaded the data i've got multiple data uh, the sources that i download and then i you know bring them into a nice uh, spreadsheet where i can do some analysis as we talked about here let me um, make it a little bigger here look as we talked about at the top of the list here we got adtx and this is sorted by short ratio we got short float here look nice short float here also keep a watch and float here you want lower float like adtx like we talked about here look float is just one million dollars and look at that five day and one day performance looks like it's uh, doing well and keep a watch on inside the institution like we talked about here you want uh, you want some um, um, movement here look beyond meat nice 15% uh, institutional buy you could take a look at such names here and we got Claire Claire has got 15% institutional buying here and look Claire is also showing some improvements as you'll see here we got one day and five days some positive improvement and if you're options uh, um, trader keep a watch on iv rank and we've got open interest and put call ratio if you're options trader keep a watch on open interest you want high open interest candidates like look we got bbby nice option open interest here put call ratio 1.13 tells you there are more put option buyers than uh, than call option buyers that's a little bit negative bias here so we got high put call ratio and high short ratio that tells you if this uh, stock creates a short squeeze this can really burn both uh, put option buyers and short sellers and go higher and as you see here we got avaya avaya is a story stock of late here look insiders are buying big time here and uh, it's it also has a little bit smaller short float here little, little short 71 million shares and look stock uh, stock has stock is trying to go higher in one day five day so you could uh, take a look at uh, avaya also here and, and we got a few more here look carvana here carvana looks like a nice uh, insider buying as you can see here stock is not responding yet uh, mainly because look uh, it's got a negative profit margin that's one of the reasons stock is not responding but this could be a good one this can also create some short squeeze and we got a few more as you can see here we got a few more things we'll not go into all of them in detail we'll pick few and uh, talk through them look marathon digital nice uh, uh, institutional buy as you can see here and uh, stock is slightly responding here last five days marathon digital went higher you could slowly start buying stocks like marathon digital this used to be wall street darling just a couple of months ago and we got allo here nice uh, institutional buy as you can see here stock is responding look stock is going higher in one day and five day you could uh, look at uh, such names here allo float is literally low here not too much and we got a few more as you see here keep a watch on inside institution we got veru look at veru here nice institutional buy and stock is responding in last five days uh, 12 percent up up move here and as you look through here rsi 42 tells you, you can still buy veru here as you look through here we got a few more going on here look workhorse also showing some strength with the institutional buyers jumping in right now stock is also responding you could look at that one too here and look we got a few more here and uh, as usual keep a watch on inside institution also keep a watch on how stock is doing in one day five day as you see some positive movement that's always a great story all right now what i will do is um, we'll take you into 
unusual option volume, especially these high short ratio candidates. When the short ratio is high, if you see some unusual option volume, that can tell you whether the stock can go high or low. All right, let's go into unusual, unusual option volume. What I've done here is I've filtered this by short ratio. And um, look, stock at the top here has got highest short ratio in uh, in the unusual option um, candidates so with that look we got aprn at the top here look uh, all these rows are aprn related here and as you scan, scan through aprn here iv rank is really high that tells you it's a very volatile stock rsi perspective it's 54 that tells you it's the middle of the range here it's not overbought not oversold and nice, uh, you know, six million uh, shares traded on Friday. Not too bad. And uh, look, market cap is 195 million. It's uh, it's okay. It's a small cap type stock, as uh, many of you can see here. Look at the performance in uh, you know um, one week, nice and high. One day, four percent. Not too bad. The reason it's repeating a couple of times is because we got few expiration dates in the option market here. We got 1118 and so on and so forth. So if you are a short term type investor or a trader, uh, pay attention to shorter, um, you know, days to expiration. We got two right here. Look, we got we got six days to expiration, um, you know, 10 seven as you can see here, and we got a, we got two unusual call options trades going on here. And look, uh, somebody, um, as you can see here, traded these call options here uh, in these two. I'll keep a watch on these two right here. And uh, look, uh, they bought uh, a premium worth $44,000 and $56,000. And both are call options. And look, money, money in this perspective, one is out of the money call option, as you can see here. And this has got a bearish uh, bearish trend here, uh, mainly because uh, uh, the last price, as you can see here, is below the midpoint here. That's why it's a bearish uh, bearishness here. And also it's, uh, you know, uh, below ask, last price is below ask. That tells you slightly bearish. But on the positive side, looks like uh, uh, the bid price um the uh, the last price is above the bid price here that's why it's a but still negative probably what's going on here is somebody's uh, you know trying to buy some call option at seven dollars um thinking stock may go higher and they got it, it at very cheap as you can see here at uh, 0 0.25 so they're spending forty four thousand dollars with seven days of expiration so this can be bullish or bearish. We can we cannot say conclusively, uh, mainly because look, uh, stock is at down. Uh, the uh, the call option strike price is seven dollars. You know, I, we can assume this could be a play that uh, stock will be below the seven dollars and they can uh, make some profit here. Uh, this twenty five cents they spend here, this uh, forty four thousand dollars can yield them some money. That's what's going on here. It's a bearish bet, and we got one more in APRN as you can see here. Here looks like it it may be a bullish bullish bet here. Current stock price five point seven eight. Call option has bought at five point five here below the current stock price. You know below five point one percent below the current stock price here. It's a six days to expiration and they spent cool fifty six thousand dollars um these are not uh, you know retail traders these are a little bit big players they're they're hoping stock will go higher in the uh, next uh, you know six days and they can make some money here uh, you could see that maybe you know because they're spending so much money that maybe um it may be positive here and we got you know we got two more things going on here look we got apr and a little bit longer term as you can see here uh, days to expiration is uh, 48 days and 111 101 days and look um, they are buying call options or trading call options above the current price here hoping this can go higher and they can make some money they got it very cheap as you can see here they put look here they put so much money here three hundred and four thousand dollars they put here uh, to buy call, uh, trade the call option worth 5.45 
you know, they got it uh, below the ask price and above the bid price. Um, I think it's uh, not super bearish, but not bullish. It's still bearish tint, as you can see here. So that's that's what uh, unusual trading says here. Look, we got various uh, various stocks here. Next is micro strategy. You know, one of my favorite trading stock here. Look, uh, somebody has put in nice uh, $445,000 um, for the expiration 10-7, expiring in six days here. And uh, they bought it, um, you know, uh, say at midpoint, look, an A meaning midpoint, last price 7.60. And the midpoint, as you can see here, is also 7.60. They've got it at the midpoint here. It's uh, below ask and above bid. So it looks like there could be a positiveness here. And uh, as you can see here, uh, on micro strategy, oh, it's a put. They actually did a put trading here. Um, and uh, strike price 200, uh, slightly 6.1% uh, below the current stock price. Um, if the stock price stays, um, you know, stays uh, below, um, stays above this price here, they could, you know, pocket this nice money here, $455,000. It's a good deal here. Looks like uh, there is some positive bias on this one here with the, this nice put option trade here. And we've got a few more going on here. Keep a watch on premium. All the high premium ones are the ones you ought to keep a watch on. Look, we got one here, Upstart. Look at the money they have spent. $2.3 million is spent on, uh, um, on Upstart here. Looks like here also somebody's trading put option above the current stock price by 30.7%. Current price is $20, as you can see here. They are actually trading $30 put option here, and they're putting so much money here. Uh, this could be, uh, this could be, a, they're also doing it below bid, as you can see here. That tells you this can be a sale here. They're trying to, they're trying to uh, think a stock price will go further down and they could make some good money as the stock goes lower because they got this $30 put here. It's, um, you know, bear because uh, uh, last price is below midpoint and last price is uh, below a uh, bid, which is BB, as you can see here. That's why it's a bearish trend. They are really hoping or they're really betting upstart will go down. Um, and uh, look, they're, they're betting this upstart, upstart will go down by 10, 7 in, in next six days. They're putting so much money. So you should really pay attention to such things here. There may be some truth to this. And what we uh, what we can also do is we can look at uh, some of these uh, um, candidates where they put so much money here. Let's say, you know, let's look at all the places where they put more than $1 million here. I could say... Um, I could say here premium more than, um, uh, let's see here, more than $1 million, and we could look at such, or let's say 500,000 here, so that we don't uh, uh, lose too many things here. Look, all these stocks here, they put more than $500,000 here. Uh, you should look at those things carefully. You got stocks like Teledoc here. Teledoc, look, uh, they also bought put option here at, uh, uh, at the strike price 135 wow that's super super high stock is trading at uh, 25 dollars somebody looks like bought put options at 135 expiring in 101 days here days to expiration and that's a bull trade looks like uh, they are thinking uh, buy buy one um, buy one 20 2023 20, uh Teledoc will go maybe above 135 they, they put cool $10 million on this bet here. And look, there's one more here, 155. This also could be something similar. You know, a lot of these guys are putting a lot of money here. They're buying, they're trading put options here. And uh, if the stock uh, goes higher, they can make some nice money here. We don't know whether it's bull or bear, but look um, on the first one right here, it's, um, it's a bull because uh, you know the last price is below the above the above the midpoint here so that could be a bull candidate so look they're putting so much money into teledoc here buying some super 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 out of the money uh, put options here hoping uh, stock will go higher and we got a few more like celsius holding amc and so on so forth here amc look uh, uh, it's uh, 
167 days to expiration looks like they bought four dollar put option here or sold for four dollar put option made it you know brought in a nice two million dollar premium here all right so what we'll do now is uh, you could take a look at this year and um, you know make some sense out of it especially look at the ones where there is a nice premium collected and you could look at short uh, you know term like 20 days to expiration william sonoma here they put so much money here and uh, look they put 120 put option here and uh, they're hoping stock will go above this 120 and they can keep that cool 1.2 million dollars here all right now what we'll do is we'll look at the charts for some of these short um, ratio candidates here one of my favorite uh, platform for that is really trading view look we got trading view here what i've done is i have uh, all these short candidates uh, in my watch list here as you see here first one is uh, aditx aditx uh, three dollar 39 cents stock look from a stock perspective there is nothing great going on here stock is going down big time look volume is surging as you can see here there is some positive nest toward the end as you look through here you could also look at a shorter term chart here one hour chart from a one hour chart perspective nothing nothing much going on stock is still at the same uh, same place here and uh, look uh, market is closed and uh, look they're not doing great they're not making money as you can see here net income is negative and look performance one week is positive 16 percent but generally it's negative so this this is one of those candidates where it has a neutral rating if you are a uh, if you are a uh, speculative type trader you could put some money here but be careful don't put too much money here all right let's go back to one year chart here and we got some more here we got aprn here look aprn perspective here stock has jumped up nicely uh, point of control right now is uh, here looks like there is a lot of volume at uh, 5.7 and as you scan through this year 5.7 could be a uh, let's see here let's say one year so in a one year chart uh, let's uh, wait for this to come up all right let's uh, apply this simple all right let's uh come back here and uh, just say uh daily here and um, i think one year is good all right so we got uh, blue apron here it's a uh, look from a point of control perspective look at around this place here at uh, 3.3 nice point of control here and look there is a nice uh, nice uh, um, line right here at uh, 4.9 good support level here uh, if the stock can hold this 4.9 here i can see it going higher so i think it's, you should keep a watch on this this might also go higher and you got bbby here look bbby got obliterated here stock came down drastically a lot of negative news here uh, negative earning as you can see here and uh, this one you got to be careful point of control perspective it's uh, much higher stock can go higher from these levels here but fundamentals fundamentals are not great and you got a few more here you got beyond meat beyond meat also look a nice volume right here it tells you at these level there is good support level here stock can uh, come come back to these levels here because that's where the line of control is or point of control is and you got a few more here upstart as you can see here point of control is just at 20.8 stock is just below the point of control here i can see this also going to the point of control and this can also go slightly higher but company is not making money um, as you can see here oh uh, it's uh, it's making money but not too much so that's why you got to be careful performance perspective look it's all negative performance and from analyst perspective it's neutral right now and i got a few more here we got big big is uh, downtrend as you can see here nice downtrend here 
nice volume at 22 as you can see here and stock is really not doing great i would probably skip this let this show some signs of going higher then we can buy this so we could uh, you know take a look at the chart I, I, I generally look generally look for a consolidation level here something like this here look right now we got some nice support level here that tells you stock can bounce back to those levels here all right so with that let's uh, probably uh, stop here let me go back to this uh, spreadsheet here so typically if you're a if you're a person who want to really participate in the short squeeze i would say uh, typically don't catch the falling knife here instead look for some confirmation in one day and five day that stock is uh, making some uh, nice progress here then you could buy if stock is falling big time here don't put your money um, and if, if when the volume is uh, open interest is high you could also uh, do one great thing you could really buy some put spread so that way you can make some money as the stock comes down especially if they're on a downturn so it always pays uh, to trade along the direction of the market when the market is going down especially stocks like this year you know don't worry buy some uh, put spreads here make some money here and the market is going higher uh, like these uh, cases here you could some put some money here and participate in the uptrend uh, it always uh, pays to uh, look at the trend general trend of the market and uh, you know go along the trend don't go anti-trend mainly because fed is not our friend right now so with that thank you very much happy investing and trading please subscribe